Thank you for trying and testing the ad hoc version of Plum Caddy. This video is going to briefly show you what's new in Plum Caddy and how to use the features like Range Finder and download courses from the Plum Clubhouse. So let's get started. When you first use Plum Caddy, you want to enter in some information in the preferences. Preferences you can get to by clicking the eye down the bottom right corner. You'll notice a, a few new fields here than the previous version. We now allow you to enter your handicap, which will be calculated into your overall score. If you don't have a handicap, that's okay. And then also, like I showed in the previous video for the Plum Clubhouse, your amazing ID. Now here, you'll enter your amazing ID and your password, and then you would hit login. We'll just check to make sure your account exists, and then you're good to go. Save your information, and let's get started. Press a new round to start a new round in Plum Caddy. Something that you'll notice right off the bat when you come into the new round screen is down here in the bottom we have this search functionality. Listed in the first screen are the favorites or courses that you've already created. If you press search, here you can actually search the clubhouse. Now, we were creating Murphy Creek in our last video, so let me take a look for Murphy Creek. Now, I can only type a few letters or I can type the whole name. I'm just going to do the shortcut and type MUR and have search. And here you go. Now, you notice it's saying that I've only got six of the 18 holes mapped, but that's okay. This is good to know so that you can make sure if you're going to play nine holes, if it says it has nine of 18, or if you're playing 18 holes, you can make sure that all 18 holes are mapped. In the event that holes are not mapped, it will resort back to the traditional template method for the holes that do not exist. Once you found the course that you want to play, you select it, and it will begin to download and process that course information. Now, this can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute on the actual iPhone. Here on the simulator, which is running on a desktop Mac, it's much faster. So be patient. It does have to download the data and process it. But after it's done that once, it's very fast to load the course up after that. This brings you to a brand new screen that leverages the information that you put in the course ratings for, that, for Murphy Creek. You have the men's and forward tees, and then here you can select the actual tee color, and you'll notice that the ones that we've entered information in for, it shows you right here. Let's try and go, and now that we've selected the blue tees, let's go to the next screen. Here you select whether you're playing 9 or 18 holes and which hole you want to start on. If you're doing a tournament or a shotgun start, you could easily start on any hole just by tapping it. We're going to go ahead and start on the first hole. Now we're ready. Tee off. Here you'll notice that it downloads and it renders the course. Now, you're going to notice these look very familiar to the old template courses that we had in previous versions of Plum Caddy. And this is purpose. This way you feel comfortable and you know what you're looking at. But again, this is the first hole on Murphy Creek. Now, right off the bat, some of the things that we're working on are uh, the ability to zoom in on these courses. Now, here you can see that this is kind of small and zoomed and, and, and at full, uh, fitting the entire course to the, to the screen. But using pinch gestures, you can pinch into the course, and we will redraw it and just as high quality. And now you can see more of the hole, and you can it'll allow placing strokes to be a lot easier. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. In this version of the ad hoc beta, we're currently still implementing functionality with zooming in. So editing strokes, once you've added them, can't be done when you've zoomed in. You have to zoom back out to move a stroke. But please do know that we will have that working before we release Plum Caddy. So let's go ahead and place a stroke. Now I'm playing the blue tees, and those happen to be the second tees here, so I'm going to go ahead and tap there. Now you'll notice that we've also changed the way that you do the strokes. Now the first stroke is actually where your tee is placed, and it's saying that I'm going on my first stroke, I'm going to use my driver. Then you place your second stroke. Now what you'll notice is just by placing my stroke, I've calculated the distance of that stroke. Now let's say I was off a little bit. You can press and hold, and just like on the iPhone home screen, it will get larger and it'll wiggle. Drag it around, and it's not where your finger or the mouse cursor is here, but it's where the ball is that you're going to be placing it. So let me drop it there. You'll notice that we've actually updated the distance appropriately. And now here you can say, I'm going to take my three hybrid as my next stroke. But now you want to know how far is it from where I am to the green. And that's where the range finder functionality that's built into Plum Caddy version 2.0 comes in handy. To get to the range finder, just press range. The next thing you want to do, if you've already pushed a put a stroke down, is just touch anywhere 
and you will instantly get the distance from your last stroke to that point on the course. So if I'm trying to get to the green, I now know that I have to go 175 yards to get to the middle of the green. So with that, I think I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my 7 iron and take a shot. And wow, I got a good shot. And now I'm on the green. Now I'm ready to putt. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm putting. And I'm going to use the quick putt mode here to enter in that I did a two putt. Now you see here that it's actually drawn the second hole. And before you place your first stroke, you want to actually know from the T, how far is it to the different parts here in the fairway. All you do there is you go into the range finder, press this button to slide the little HUD up to the top. And then we're going to use the measuring tape, touch the, the, where the T box is, and drag your finger. And you'll notice as I drag that you're on the fly updating the information as you move along. Now let's just take a quick look on the accuracy of the rangefinder. And here you'll see that I'm pretty close to the middle of the green. This is 467 yards from where the blue tees are. Here you'll see that we have 469 yards. That's pretty accurate, way more accurate than any other golf application out there. So again, I wanted to know how far it was from the green, from the tee box to the front of the fairway. Or if I really wanted to stretch it out with my driver, let's say I'm going to hit my driver roughly 235 yards, then I know, okay, I'm going to aim for over here. So then you can say, okay, I'm ready. So let me place my stroke. And then you can go ahead and say where your ball is going to go and what stroke, what club you're using. And that's it. The rangefinder adds an immense capability to your golf game using Plum Clubhouse holes. Now I want to take a second just to show you what the golf course looks like that you've drawn in the clubhouse and how you can really appreciate what the holes look like and use this to your advantage when you're playing your game. For example, on this hole here, you can't see the fairway when you're playing from uh, the, the tee box and where the sand traps are. But now with a quick look at your phone in Plum Caddy version 2.0, you can zoom in and you can see that you know around this dog leg here, there's a sand trap off to the right as well as one on your approach to the green. Having this information and being able to use the range finder to get instantaneous yardage is going to greatly help you improve your game as well as add a little bit of enjoyment using the greatest golf app on the iPhone. Let's just take a look at the other holes that we created.